This summer, Johnny Depp returns as Captain Jack Sparrow. What is it that has Jack spooked? How much do you know about Davy Jones? You owe me your soul. It's been three years since Jack Sparrow and his crew set sail on the fastest ship afloat, the Black Pearl. This summer, the pirates are back. There is a chest. The dead man's chest. To find it, you must sail to the end of the earth and beyond. <laughs> celebrate the release of Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest, Disney have entered a boat into the Volvo Ocean Race, one of the most exciting and exhilarating around the world yacht races. And they've done it with a pretty amazing machine. Disney, the skipper of this fine vessel, does not have a taste for rum or a liking for piracy. He is, in fact, seven times world sailing champion Paul Kayard. We caught up with him here in Portsmouth on the seventh leg of the race. Well, this was very, very light. Um, basically, there's a huge power to weight ratio, and most boats have a fixed keel. This boat has a swinging keel. So what happens is that you can swing the keel out to windward yeah. and get a lot more stability. So the net result is that this boat weighs half as much, for example, as an America's Cup boat, yeah. same sail area, and it goes twice as fast. We're looking for this, the chest of Davy Jones. What is in the chest? Now, the reason we're here is to try and get the scoop of what happens in Dead Man's Chest, because joining the team for the race today are two of Captain Jack Sparrow's pirate crew, otherwise known as actor Kevin McNally and co-star Mackenzie Crook, a.k.a. Gareth from The Office. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, good. How was, how, was, how was that? It was quite yeah, right. yeah. hair-raising. Yeah, it was great. It, did you actually have to do anything? You had to kind of spice a brace or something? Like run, run from one side of this boat to the other when I was told to do so. Did you have any reason why you had to do that? No, apparently something to do with my vast weight who was affecting the, the balance of the boat. Yeah. Do you feel like a sailor now? Do you feel like you've earned your, your stripes? Yeah, I feel like a sailor. Where can I find one? The last, like the last time we saw you, you were being captured by the British, you were meant to be kind of led off, you to be hung. So what happens next? What can we, what can we expect? Well, I mean, at least I did surrender at the end of the first one. I stuck up my hands and surrendered, which means that, you know, I made the sequel. All of those fools who didn't surrender got run through. Uh, the, the writers obviously looked at pirate stories, thought, what do we have in the first one that we need? And sea monsters feature very heavily, you know, heavily in that list. And so, yeah, we've got a huge giant squid that attacks the, the ship. Excellent. As you do. As you do. And what was it like working again with Johnny Depp? Brilliant. I mean, yeah, this is the fourth movie I've made with him now, and, and it's great. I mean, he's a, he's a very generous actor and, and brilliant to watch perform. He's yeah, quite an inspiration. I know. He's a, Mackenzie must have loved this today. I'm sure. You're at sea, and then he's, he's, <laughs> he's suddenly out again. Yeah. The last time we saw of you, you were being captured by the by the British. So, mm. so what happens next? Well, I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. Um, That's understandable. But all I, can, all I can say is that the adventures are even uh, more exciting. But, uh, of course, this time, uh, all of your favourite characters from the first movie are all on the same boat, and we're all pirates now. We get captured by a lot worse people than the, uh, than the uh, British this time, though. I've heard tell there might be some sort of a kraken or sea beast Well, he's, he's, not, he's not even the worst of it. We've got, we've got cannibals, um, we have the East India Company, Fantastic. and we do have a sea beast, uh, to say nothing of Davy Jones himself, who's about the most evil thing you could imagine. <laughs> some sort of half crab squid. Oh, it's even worse than Good that. Don't even go there, you Don't won't even... sleep tonight. Jack Sparrow! Oh, bugger. Summon the Kraken! Now, on the night of Monday, the 3rd of July, we are hoping to meet Johnny Depp, Kira Knightley, Orlando Bloom and Bill Nighy down at the UK premiere of Dead Man's Chess. So hit subscribe on iTunes to be the very first to get the premiere video podcast. Oh, and don't forget to check out thefilmfactory.co.uk for movie details.